Hello guys and welcome your faces back to another adventure. I said in the past that I was going to be doing a conversion um, of my van and there was something else in the process that was happening. Um, I don't know if I made that clear in some of the videos but... And I have a coach. I actually have a 70 seater coach at the age of 21. That's It's pretty weird, it's like surreal feeling um, but overall yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty good. She's a bit rough, but that's what you get for, what you get there is honestly millions and millions of flies in here. You can see my other little van over there. But this is gonna be the process of slowly doing it up, taking out every individual seat that is gonna be absolutely painstaking that I'm gonna probably be doing today. And all the head units, and then basically designing it, thinking about what, you know, where I want things. So work out where I want things, design it, um, work out where things I want them to go, kitchen, etc., and things like that, and then get all everything kitted out underneath, make it look proper nice. And that will be the plan overall. So you're just gonna see like a montage of me slowly. You're gonna be watching me do a montage and basically speeding things up because you're not gonna be watching me undo every single nut and bolt. Um, so if you like these type of videos, hit a like, hit subscribe, and share this video. I want everybody to know about it. Um, so yeah, stick around. I think we may have a fly problem. That is absolutely disgusting. That is absolutely... Ugh. Nah, not for me. Day two, um, I didn't get much done yesterday as you can see, but we shall show you. So this is the amount of I've done. I've got out five seats, one over here. They're all rotten in. Um, every bolt and nut are absolutely rotten um, but yeah we're getting some progress done so what I do is I keep you updated today and also I had a job jump yesterday as well I just opened this I had to put I had to put two strips I had to put two strips down um, each side if you can see that That was because there was a leak um, along the top joins and that needed to be done and sorted ASAP. So we're still on day two, um, managed to get a few more out, oh, it is an absolute pain because every little channel is rotted and every nut and bolt is rusty but they're coming out slowly but surely. Um, I've only got a few to go. <laughs> We've uh, finally got some progress, we've got all the every single seat out all the way up um, yeah it's starting to look massive it looks really weird now you've got all like the head units out up here they've all come out um, but yeah looking good so far It's 
day three, um, we've done a lot of stuff. We managed to pull down in the dark footage of last night all the side units up the top. Um, it's just now a tidy up and the other side, and that's it for this. That's it for the three day bender of uh, ripping it out. <laughs> So Tom, what are we doing here? Um, tidying up the cables so that they can be tucked back up because they're not going to be used. I don't want them to short out or anything. So that's why I'm doing is taking them up. Eventually I'm going to bag them all up as well. So bag them? Yeah, so they don't damp bits to them because I don't want them shorting out or anything. These ones here, these are speaker wire. These are speaker wire. So they're nothing, they don't carry any voltage. They're not going to be doing anything, I cut them all off at the front anyway. Take them up, take them up. soon so stick around like subscribe and uh, I shall see you in the next video